Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's Crystal and today I am sharing Dollarama and Dollar Tree for you guys. Okay, let's jump on in. Um, Dollarama first. So I came across these metallic threads and you get eight pieces for $1.25. I just thought that um, they're kind of a cool crafting staple. I'd seen somebody incorporate some of the threads in their tassels and um, little bows and stuff. So I never really knew what the purpose of metallic thread was. But now that I've seen some people use it a few different ways, I thought I'd grab the pack. And so eight spools of different colored thread for 125. I thought that was a great deal. And then um, I picked up these four wooden pieces of leaves and they were a dollar twenty-five. And I know they came out with these quite a while ago, but all the leaves were the same shape. This time they're all different. So you can see the front and the back are different. And then there's a few in there as well that have a different shape. But again, I seen somebody else incorporate these um, on the end of their tassels and it looked really nice. So it just added a bit of a kick on the end of a tassel um, with those wooden beads that I'm talking about. So it looked really chic. I really liked it. So I picked up just the one pack of those to see if I could try my hand at that. Um, I've been crafting a lot this week so I can get that video ready for you guys to show you all the items and how I use them for um, fall and Halloween is what I've been uh, creating for you guys. And um, I had a new idea but I ran out of the felt leaves so I was on the hunt for them and I couldn't find them so instead I found these really pretty gold metallic leaves and they came from Dollarama and a dollar fifty and you get 18 pieces so I just thought they were a really nice um, different one that I hadn't seen yet before so I'm giving them a whirl and then I passed this several times and uh, I just have an idea in mind for it so it's two pieces of the wood die cut tree a uh, dollar fifty for the two pieces and kind of an idea I have is maybe to put it on a clear picture frame and then maybe incorporate all my family's names around it so it's like a family tree more so so that's my idea for those and no comment <laughs> yeah can't resist um i've been collecting a series of books and every time a new one comes out i grab it and um they're just a really gorgeous book so this one is called Posey the Kitten in Pink. So I've grabbed quite a few of this type of book and they're really big and the pictures are fantastic and the stories are typically very cute. And uh, $2. The book is $2. And this one comes with a necklace inside, believe it or not. So, um, one day I hope to have grandchildren, so whenever I see a really nice um, quality book, I grab it and um, I kind of have a little stash for one day, hopefully, grandchildren. <laughs> and the last kind of fun item I found was this crossbody bag. So, of course, it was $4.00 and it was the only color they had, but it's really nice tan. And the brand is Bella Russo, and it comes with a zipper there, and it has a nice inside with the side pockets. And yeah, I just thought, what a great deal. I like side purses, um, it keeps um, shoulder bags from falling off my shoulders and stuff and I just think they're really convenient and handy. I don't know if I like that pattern yet so 
Um, it might be gifted to my mom. I'll just have to see how it looks once I try it out. So, but yeah, for $4, you can't beat that. So yeah. Okay, I am going to move this stuff over for a second so that I can pull out my Dollar Tree items now. Um, again, more so along the line of finishing off some of my crafting items. So um, that's why I was there. And so I grabbed this. Um, I was looking for like the white nautical rope, but I mean, this came from the hardware department and it's going to more or less do the same thing that I had in mind for it. So I grabbed that for crafting purposes. Um, I showed you guys last time that I picked up some gold letters for my um, new Bible journal. So this is my Bible journal and inside the front page is where I want to um, put my name in the gold letters or whatever. But today I found these pink iridescent ones and I thought it's gonna go so pretty with the color of my book. So yeah, <laughs> I had to grab those. Aren't they so nice? I love that. So yeah, so I'll get that happening. I love that pink. And then I went to a different Dollar Tree and I found more um, maple leaf stems. And so I had showed you previously that I had found some pink foiled maple leaves and everything. And now I found these lavender ones. Aren't they so pretty? I love how they're bringing in these pastel muted colors for the fall because yeah, it's not something you typically see. It's always the bright oranges and reds. And so now they're bringing out these kind of colors and it makes me so happy. And then this one has, again, the touch of pink inside some of the stems as well as the yellows. So I was happy to see those. So that's that. Um, I've been looking for chunky white yarn to fill the beads holes that I showed from Dollarama. These are the beads I'm talking about. Those bead holes are really large, if you can see. So I was looking for a chunky white yarn so that they wouldn't be so um, flopsy, but I haven't been able to find any yet. So in the meantime, for some of my other beading purposes, I just grabbed this white yarn. Um, for the stringy portion of working with the beads. So I thought you're gonna get a lot of yardage with this. It's actually, doesn't say, it's 50 grams anyways, but you're gonna get a lot of string. So it's gonna go a long way. And then um, I needed some type of fall color ribbon for one of my crafts that I was preparing and I didn't know which way or which route to go so I just grabbed this really nice orange one so I picked that one up and this one is actually a lot bigger than most of them so it is 15 feet long so yeah I thought this one I could use for both fall and Halloween if I need need it for both or either or so I grabbed those ones I found this really awesome soft lips peppermint lip balm you guys know I keep I'm on the hunt always for peppermint lip balm and I love the cooling effect that um, a lot of them have so every time I see a peppermint lip balm I'm gonna grab it because I just love that the tingling and the cooling sensation so I don't know if these ones do that or not, but I love the peppermint. So yeah, grab that one. Um, I did grab one more red truck and camper. So now I only have two and hopefully that's all I need. I don't really have an idea yet. I was thinking maybe in those mini snow globes or in the cloche, um, a scenery like that, or maybe in 
a shadow box picture frame. So yeah, there's different ways to use these because they're really so tiny and so you have more um, usage for the smaller crafting items to try these out with. So there's that. And then um, again, I was on the hunt for my felt leaves from Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find them no more. But I did find this pack of 50 and I like this one because it had the gold foil ones in the front. And then all the other colors are in the back, but I like the gold. I think it's going to match with what I had in mind. So between these ones and the Dollarama gold leaves, I think I am going to um, accomplish what I set out to do. So there's that one. And then all the new candle scents have come out for fall and winter. And I grabbed this one, Toasted Marshmallow. My last video I grabbed the actual jars, the jar candles in this toasted marshmallow. My store didn't have the wax melt out yet, so I just grabbed these ones for now until I can find the wax melts. But yeah, um, I was in Yankee Candle and they told me you can just put these in your wax warmer no problem. Because um, they're still going to melt just the same and throw off the scent, so I'm just going to do that try these out in my um, wax warmer so that's that and then the final two items I have if you remember that um, Bible book Bible book I told you about and showed you a little page inside um, I think I was gonna go ahead and get the rest of the series because I really like the message it had so I did find two more I'm still on the hunt for the last one so this one is teach me about faith and it has the CD with songs inside. So there's that one. And then Teach Me About the Bible. And again, it has the CD inside. So the last one I'm after is um, I got the Teach Me About Church. So I'm looking for the Teach Me About Prayer. Yeah. So that wraps it up, guys. Um, that's what I have for today. And like I said, I'm... Busy Beaver on my craft projects, and I'm going to put the whole video together for you guys before you know it. So stay tuned for that, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to um, like or comment below and provide any feedback that you may have for me. So anyways, thanks for stopping by. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.